consider taking up a coaching role someday. Kan Nwankwo talks football and politics. Super Eagles international and brand ambassador Kano Anko is certainly a household name in Nigerian football. The former African Footballer of the Year who retired from professional football a few years back and has been busy with his charity foundation hinted that he may consider taking up a managerial role in football someday. I retired uh, two years ago, three years ago. I want to have time to look at other things business-wise and uh, also to help the young ones. Uh, not by coaching, but by putting a structure out there so they can benefit from it. And that's what I'm doing now. But I don't know what the future holds for me. He gave his opinion on the current state of Nigerian football, indicating that more needs to be done to bring out the best in Nigerian football. N Nigeria is a blessed country. Talent, there's a lot of Kanos, a lot of JJs in Nigeria, a lot of good players in Nigeria. But the whole thing is that right now we are, our heads are up there. And um, you see everybody talking about grassroots, grassroots. Nobody wants to bring their head down. So we that have been there, oh, that's what we are, we are doing now. Uh, if you watch at last uh, week, the president, president Cup started and it's for the whole Nigeria. So that we can pick the little ones who are playing out there. Um, it started from the local governments to... But all the same... Uh, like I said, coaches who are coming to Nigeria to coach Nigeria or the ones who are from Nigeria, I don't think it's a big tax for them. Because where you have big tax is when you go to a country that doesn't have players. But Nigeria, I, if, if I go to any street, I can pick like two or three uh, little ones who can represent on under 17. On. So we have players, we are blessed. But we have to look for the raw talent. There's something you call the raw talent, the real talent. It's not, they are inborn. So to teach them is more easier. So but what happen, what's, hap, what's happening now is that everybody is like Europe, 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 Europe. Nobody is really going down to know uh, what's our problem. And our, brother, our problem is from down there. So we have to all put our heads down and make sure that we can feed them out. When we asked for Pilo, as he's finally called, if any of his children is taking after him in football, he replied. Um, yeah, of course, my first son. Um, he, he loves football, he's even in the room, he's playing football and um, he's like, he wants to play against me. <laughs> but uh, all the same, he's in uh, Watford Academy and he's 11 years now. So, so um, uh, if that's what he's going to go for, why not? I will support him and I can see it in him that he wants to play football. But I always tell him education first before any other thing. He also didn't fail to speak on his charity foundation. From day one, there's a lot of challenges. Um, things happen that sometimes um, my staff wants to say they are tired of the whole thing, but um, I keep giving them that confidence, um, letting them know that uh, nothing easy comes easy. Nothing good comes easy, so they have to keep going. Um, we are not doing it because we want to get anything from it. But to give back is very important. To save life, not lives. If you have save life, means a lot. And right now, as I'm talking to you, we have done 500 operations. Uh, so um, we have almost like 200 on the waiting list. So we are partnering with a lot of uh, hospitals in Nigeria, in uh, India, in Sudan. And um, I can tell you one thing. There is no grant from outside the country that has come to the foundation so far. So whatever you see we have done is um, our efforts um, going from one um, company to another, knocking from one door. Um, yeah, if it's open, we go in. If it's not, but um, Kano as well supporting the foundation because I know it's um, a, for a good cause and that's why I'm doing it. Kano further revealed that he is set to open a studio called Papilo Studio and all the businesses. He finally aired his expectations from the incoming government as May 29th power handover approaches. I love business. I try to set up things and um, pray that it will go well. Uh, for now, I've started uh, Papilo uh, Studio in uh, uh, ATC Salen Ikeja. And um, even inside there, you have the music studio as well. So we print, we bind albums, we cover events. Uh, we do a lot. 
And uh, it's, it's a place to be. And whoever have any event or wants anything, don't go anywhere. We have just one stop, Papillo Studios. Uh, and the water is coming out as well. Can